Welcome everyone. In this video, we will check out the team page. Let's go to the team page. The first thing we see is the scheduler. But the calendar is only visible if there are bookable resources. As with experiments and resources, we can also set the scope here. We'll leave it at team. As recommended by eLab FTW, we will now start selecting a resource. We can filter by category and then select the resource from the category. We take the transmission electron microscope from the laboratory equipment category. At the top right, we can cancel the selection. Now we are looking for the period in which we want to book it. The red line shows the current time. We can simply click on a desired position or hold the mouse button and select a larger time period. It's easier to just click on one place at first because you can still adjust the time period afterwards. If we want to book something, we have to leave a comment. You can extend or even move the field now, but let's take a look straight in. After clicking on it, this window opens. Here, you can also adjust the start and end times again. You can link an experiment or another resource, or cancel the booking and send a message to various groups of people. You can also cancel the booking and not send a message by just pressing on Cancel. We will just close it and leave it as it is. If we go back to the overview, we can now see our booking. We can also now see it on the dashboard as an upcoming booking. Well, let's move on. Information shows the members of the team. There is nothing more to see here. A separate video will be available for templates. So let's move on to the last point, email. With this, you can write an email to the team or to the team groups you belong to. Great. In the next video, we will take a look at the search page. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us or leave a comment. Goodbye.